This is Twit. Okay. Hey, let's talk about like tech that isn't going to make us sad. TikTok? TikTok? That doesn't make you sad. Well, wait a minute. TikTok, oops. Yeah. Here's the yeah. problem. This is, so we've been talking a little bit about sanctions and how they're not necessarily, in some cases, it's to make the company look good rather than to further Ukraine's uh, welfare. TikTok uh, kind of banned, uh, in a way, banned Russia, suspended new video uploads and live streams from Russia. Um, and walled off, this is the thing they did, they walled off Russian users for seeing posts from outside the country, including Ukraine. And according to the post, effectively creating a second censored version of its platform. But as a result, uh, because the block on Russian content has not been effective, a lot of what's on TikTok in Russia now is pro-government propaganda. They're not seeing the story of what's going on outside of Russia. So this is a this is an example of sanctions gone wrong, I think. Yeah, but I mean, these are blunt tools. And so it makes sense that we're going to have to figure. I mean, in a, in a sense, you'll see actually there's another story, I think, on Algo Speak. People have to get creative. People will get creative. But. I mean, when you're oh, trying to... Oh, I love to, this story. You want to talk about yeah. this? Yeah. I'm just... Yeah, it's yeah. just... This is, this is Taylor Gilmore Lawrence ends. doing great stuff. This is... She's doing... Freed from the New York Times. She's doing great work. Yeah. The Post. She's now at the Post. Um, <laughs> uh, I was looking forward to doing this story. Uh, <laughs> so if you use TikTok, you know that uh, the TikTok algorithm looks at things you're saying. And so... In order to get around the TikTok algorithm and talk about what you want to talk about, uh, TikTok creators have started to use, um, well, that, well, she calls it algo speak, but euphemisms. For instance, instead of a vibrator, you might have a spicy eggplant. Uh, instead of saying dead, you might say unalive. Uh, she's got a whole, a whole series of stuff. When TikTok Glossary. started started banning uh, COVID-19 misinformation, people started referring to COVID-19 as the Backstreet Boys reunion tour or calling it Panini or the Panda Express. When young people began to discuss struggling with mental health, they talked about becoming unalive. Sex workers call themselves accountants. And instead of That's using the word... favorite. <laughs> instead of using the word porn, they use the word corn or, the, or better yet, the corn emoji. So if you see an accountant who's into corn, <laughs> it ain't what you think it is. We've all become Chinese, right? This is this is all the tricks that the Chinese had. Oh, they're, they're that's why Winnie years the Pooh. Years years. That's why Winnie the Pooh. Well, that's you're why right. they banned Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, they, they, they caught up. That's the problem. It's iterative. Yeah. Yeah. But, is, but this is you know this is this is you know, Dana Boyd again was explaining how um, teens have been doing this. Oh, social networks for, for, yeah. for decades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, this is, it's very much like you 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 use a, an idiolect that other Buddha understand to talk about what you want to talk about. POS. I, I remember when you were uh, when we my kids were doing ICQ, they'd write POS, and I didn't know what it meant. It stood for parents over shoulder, and it was like <laughs> just, just you know who is also a POS. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Any vaccine groups on Facebook do this too. They change their names to dance party or dinner party. Uh, vaccinated people were referred to as swimmers. <laughs> I just, it's a great story just because I love, I, so for instance, instead of uh, saying LGBTQ, um, they use, the, they say they're members of the leg booty community <laughs> because <laughs> apparently uh, that's what the uh, voice synthesizer turns LBGTQ into is like, <laughs> like booty. Oh, that's hilarious. I didn't realize that. <laughs> That. That's beautiful. <laughs> uh, um, uh, instead of nipples, can't say nipples, obviously. Nip nops. Um, if you're going to talk about crackers, you can't say crackers because the algorithm thinks you're talking about su white Southerners. Southern crackers. So you have to say saltines, which is really <laughs> ironic. If you ask me. <laughs> Twitch considers the word cracker a slur. It is a slur, actually. Uh, wow. Thank you, uh, Taylor Lorenz, for 
Oh, yeah, this is, that's also, here's another one, the TikTok text-to-speech, uh, you can't say lesbian. So what they write is L-E dollar sign B-I-A-N, which the text-to-speech pronounces Le Dollar Bean. <laughs> 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 so they just started writing Le Dollar Bean. But you're right, this has been going on, this has probably been going on since, uh, you know, the serfs saw the, the Lord coming. Said P O L. Oh yeah. Well, it, it's kind of fun because I'm, <laughs> I'd be very curious to see how quickly it spreads with social media, right? So, like, that's true. How long? That's what's true. the longevity of your much your faster slang right? or yeah. your what yeah. did you call it? Idio dialect. Idiolect. 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 Yes. So yeah, that would be a fun thing to research. And is it different on different platforms where older people are, you know, versus where younger people are? I just don't know, well, you, but it's super fun. You, have you read Gretchen McCulloch's book on this? No. That's really good. Um, I'll try oh, to remember the name of it. Hang on. I think I'm it's on. To, I, I, I think. There. Yeah, I think it's on my list from uh, from uh, Jeff. <laughs> I'm like Jeff. Do you read all the books on your bookshelf back there? Or I listen to one. because because internet is called because, oh, because internet. internet. Okay. What a great oh, yeah. name for a book. Understand the new rules of language. Yeah, yeah. and then, and it's it's really good because she basically she's a she's a linguist. And she goes through and talks about all these different linguistic constructions that turn up Love on the internet in different groups and subgroups. Love that. And also things like different ways people use punctuation depending on um, oh, which yeah. group they're in and so on. And oh, my kids mocked me for using punctuation on my text messages. Oh, my yeah, daughter full thinks we're all yelling at her. <laughs> yeah. and and full I, stop I, is, I is very that. rude, yeah. Full stop, yeah, yeah. period. Like, if I put a period, she's like, they're yelling. And I was like, no, no, people our age... We just end think sentences that that's with periods. Thank the right you. way to write, and she's like, "No, it's so harsh." So I'm we like, used to think it was typing in caps, right? Now it's not typing caps; it's simply using punctuation. Yeah, don't use punctuation. That's the Holy moral. Holy So I've got a question for you all. Yeah. So at a journalism school, right? We we taught proper grammar and the AP style book and all that. And if we take what I say about serving communities where they are. Um, we, I think, need to accept and value many different uh, linguistic styles, even in a journalism school. Of course. Of yeah. yeah. Well, I think that's well, it's fine. it's controversial, think, though, in some quarters. Well, so I think it also depends on your, your platform. So, like, in the New York mm -hmm. Times or in a print paper, I feel like there's probably, you know, like, use eighth grade level English when you're writing for, you know, your local daily, right? Whereas you may do something a little more highfalutin for a magazine. And maybe for the TikTok account, you're using different language and emojis. And I don't think that's weird. It's on Reddit a lot. There are a lot of non-English speakers. So I often, you know, cut all, some slack to people. But there's a lot, you see this a lot, I seen. I seen a Waymo, or I see a cruise car be pulled over by the PD. I seen it. And at first I'm going, well, that's just, you know, ignorant and ungrammatical and now i'm realizing no i have to be less judgmental that's just that's language evolves right so i, I was editing yeah. a chapter of the gutenberg book yesterday and i came across this section that i actually wrote i, I forgot i forgot i'd written it um <laughs> and um it occurred to me that that when montaigne wrote his essays he raised the bar on being able to join in the conversation because you had to be a writer yes literate. ever since yes. then We've all, how many people do we know who are scared of writing, whether it's a memo? It's Kevin or a Mark's letter, fault. I can't keep up with his public yes. school Ponzi education. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> I went to school. Thank you very much. Okay, never bother. mind. <laughs> Why would you bother? <laughs> Heaven's no, but, a but, Yale but, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, but you, but you, you adopt different, you know, you adopt different idiots depending who you're talking to. You, you, you have. It's code switching as well, but it's also you, you. You, I would speak differently to you guys about stuff because we've got a bunch of shared vocabulary and, and context, and I would speak to, you know, my sons yes. about it, or yeah. or someone I meet in the street because yeah. it's just a question of what's shared and what can, what can be done. But the the, the Gretchen's one is interesting because she says a lot of it does show up in weird things. It does show up in weird things like punctuation. She says you can tell old old people because they always put um, ellipses in their texts for some, for some reason. I love ellipses. Um, you're old. <laughs> yeah. And the I mean, M like, dash. I'm just looking at my te my texts from my kid, and they are definitely very different than my oh, texts. I'm going to have to look at my texts from my kids now. 
See, my daughter, who's 30, is probably more older than old yeah. now, right? She doesn't, she doesn't count. Oh, yeah, no capitalization, no periods. No, no, there's no punctuation. No periods. Just a lot of exclamation marks. Exclamation marks, yeah. Tons of, emojis. Tons of, yeah. uh, Same what are thing those called? With my son. The, he capitalizes the first letter of the sentence probably because Apple does it for him. Exactly. Ah, uh, good point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's the last time it's capitalized. Wow. And lots of, and ironically, mine doesn't, Maybe it's because she's on an Android phone, but she doesn't use a lot of emojis. She just uses um. No, like, no. My, uh, Henry school. uses no emojis, and and Abby does yeah. use emojis quite a bit. So that's just maybe. What, are, what is it called when you use the letters? Is it leap? No, not leap speed. Emoticons. You, emoticons. Emoticons. There now we go. Now you're old. Yeah. Forget ellipses. <laughs> emoticons. <laughs> huh? Shruggy guy. Huh? Yep. <laughs> yeah, no, they're not that complicated. <laughs> they're like the little, but she does. She does the little hearts and the. I think the it's big fascinating. I love miles. language. Yeah. I love. I'm gonna. I've just added the McCulloch book to my um, my audio. Oh no! Do, do, I recommend everyone to read that book. Yeah. It also it, it helps a lot when you're you're reading other people's texts. And you're like, oh right, yeah, they're they're writing in this style. Okay. I get very judgmental. I'm not yeah. sure I can write in those styles, but at least I can read them. Yeah. And I, just, I have to well, train could. myself. But Kevin McWhorter's been great on that, too, which you introduced me to, uh, uh, Jeff. Uh, he's really been good on on showing me that, you know, it's, he's a linguist as well. And it's just, you know, it's it's language that's how changes. language evolves. It's normal. Well, this is where, pardon me, Gutenberg moment, this is where print came in. Is that, is that, I think it's Umberto Eco who said that uh, a, a, um, a dialect is a language without an army. Oh, I love it. And and so when print came in, a whole bunch of dialogue. I mean, when Luther chose to publish in German, that was a momentous decision. The vernacular. Because he was then speaking to a public, number yeah. one. And number two, he started standardizing German. And so a national identity, long before the nation was created, a national identity of, of Germans was created from that moment. And so so the technology had a huge impact. So now we come around and 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 now you don't have to be Montaigne. You don't have to be um, literate in the sense of your grandparents. You can change the language and in fact use things that aren't in our view language. You can use emoji and you can use memes and other non-verbal, non-textual things. And I find that very exciting, but it scares the hell out of people who define literacy around the text that they, the, the rules they knew. It's a form of ignorance. And, and, you know, when my kids were growing up, they would always say, me and my friends did something, yeah. right? And I would always say, no, no, it's your friends and I. It just bugged me. Or I really hate it when people say, be between you and I. <laughs> it just oh, yeah. drives me yeah. nuts. Oh, that versus which drives me crazy. Yeah. Have you, have you been a copy yeah. editor? There's all kinds of things. But so that's, that's just terrible. Fair. That's just, we're just, that's just terrible. We're terrible people. <laughs> Intolerant. <laughs> Intolerant.